In Apex Legends Season 8, Wraith is getting a big nerf. And by that, I mean she's literally getting bigger. They're going to increase her hitbox size by, I believe, 15%. So this could actually, in turn, lead to big consequences for Wraith players. Is it going to be enough to the point where she's not good anymore? Is she going to drop down massively because of this change? Well, we can take a look at the Pathfinder hitbox nerf and say that it definitely makes an impact, but not as much as you think. However, it is safe to say that Wraith is significantly harder to hit than Pathfinder. So this change could be quite big. One example is the kind of fights where you have a Mastiff, right? You go up against a Wraith and you try to shoot the Wraith and you hit constant 14s because it's just so hard to hit a Wraith with a Mastiff because there's such little area for her to hit, especially when she's crouching. So this nerf could actually like you may be able to feel quite a significant change when it happens, right? So I guess we're going to play this game and I'm going to just try to abuse Rafe's hitbox, basically. And you'll see kind of why it's like kind of a big deal, honestly. And this change, um, you know, could definitely put her in line with other legends. I think a lot of Rafe mains aren't going to be happy, but I do think for the health of the game, it does need to happen. It, it, it is a little... Okay, we're down already. Right, so there's a Mastiff, right? Let's see how many 14s we can soak up. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Nice. Good job, good job. That to Bangalore. There's definitely more people here. I, I don't think Wraith's play rate is going to drop massively. Honestly, I think a lot of people are going to play her. One of the great things about Wraith is it just feels smooth to play her. And I think that's because she's so like lower down to the ground. So when she moves and jumps and slides, it actually feels like moving considerably faster, which is kind of crazy, actually. Three more um yeah, that's what we need. Chill for a minute. I haven't really come across a mastiff. I mean, to be honest, every weapon it's gonna be harder to hit a wraith because she's so much smaller. I I think it's unfair that a legend like Watson has low profile to the same degree that um Wraith has. Ah, uh, we're dead, basically. It's just over. <laughs> oh boy. We really have to see if this change in Apex Legends Season 8 is going to be big enough to really drop her down. But I, I, I do wonder if um, Horizon will take her spot as the most played legend. It's kind of nearing that anyway. Um, This might be a significant enough change to really kind of sway people over. Of course, Fuse isn't going to take that spot. Fuse is, you know, he's an offensive legend. He's going to have some offensive abilities, but not any positioning abilities, really, from what we can tell so far. Nice. What? You just teleport? Oh my god, that's so awkward, bro. Nice. And I've been using the charge rifle a lot recently. It's actually kind of a ridiculous weapon. Right now, this could be a good engagement distance for it. A 
to get some ammo for my vault before they push us. Find another weapon. This is what I mean by it's really good. They drop down. Rezzing in here. I want to get this kill real quick. See, that's what I mean. That positioning power is ridiculous, really. Have a res. Oh no! Get up there. All of them? Nice. Yeah, I, I do think her abilities in themselves are very good. Uh, tactical is really good. Actually, since the technical, tactical nerf in Season 5, it's gotten better. It has more positioning power. Yeah, it takes longer to like activate, but it's, in my opinion, a lot better. The ultimate's been nerfed a lot, but um, still really good. Still really good as well. You don't really have any other movement ability in the game that literally provides you invulnerability whilst you're moving, right? That's kind of why she's so strong, in my opinion. It's that invulnerability, that safe ability to move. Trying to it seems quiet for now. I might not always stay that way. People, uh, people will still be in fragment. We're good. It's going to be pretty chill. No one's really going to be coming fragment. I mean, train yard from fragment. Well, maybe, but. Shot a cargo bot. There's a vault Optic gotta hop up here. Ooh. Picked up things. Remember when the um charge rifle first came out? It was so strong, actually. Boy, people behind us as well. That. We're actually gonna get sandwiched if we stay here. Let's go ahead, come on. Come on, come on. Don't fight, don't fight alone. I opened the vault. It might be good this time. I'm going over here. Back back here. Level four. Recharging shields. Gotta hop gotta hop up here. Skull pierce. Also just keep rotating through, we've already got kill points. Basements at this point, so I haven't really come across a Mastiff yet. <laughs> the theory is in practice. I mean, it's there, but I haven't really been able to show it to you. But you know what I mean. You've shot a Wraith before with a Mastiff. You know how it is. You know how it is. Even just having, like, the scoping potential of a sniper is so nice sometimes. Like, I haven't been using snipers much this season. But recently, I have been picking up the charge rifle, like, the last couple of days. And it's so nice to just be able to zoom in and, like, have a proper look at what's in this area, you know? I hope they add like a tactical item that's like binoculars or something. I think that would actually be really cool. But I guess ultimately I think Wraith will still be good. Um, it's going to be a quite sizable nerf though. I really do think it's going to be easier to 1v1 against Wraith after this. So hurrah. <laughs> but um, it's not really going to change how really her potential as a legend. It's still going to be super useful, but her 1v1 engagement rate is probably going to drop a little bit. That's my guess. Oh, that's the worst. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. This is actually going to be ridiculous. Thank <gasps> you. It'll be ridiculous. 
Thank you. Thermite grenade here. Look, I just spotted that player just out of the corner of my eye. crafting thing as well so we can just craft more sniper ammo it's amazing we're gonna do it now oh so I just trying to level up my Evo right now Oh, you were low. Reloading. Recharging my shields. For the free damage, my friend. Appreciate it. We got a good spot here, we're still in the ring and everything, so get out of here. I'm gonna shoot you in the legs, buddy. Simple as that. <laughs> Making a move. Would have died if I hit that. If I had connected, that would have been a kill. They have to move though. I hurt him. down here right Yeah, 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 yeah. Coming. I'm coming. Nice job. Ah uh, man, that's my bad aim there. We lost it. Oh no, that's a shame. Haha. <laughs> Guys, this guy is mad. It's unfortunate, but... Alright, well, you could see there that we, um... 
Definitely don't smash it from Wingman shot for sure. So yeah, I think overall it's not gonna make a massive difference to her performance. But maybe she'll lose some more 1v1 engagements. Imagine in that situation we took two more wingman shots because our hitbox was just that bit bit bigger. We would have died way sooner. So yeah, really interesting. Thanks everyone for watching. Let me know what you thought of this style of video. And I'll see you all in the comments. Cheerio!